Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Joining me now is Pam Minnick, a familiar face here at Superior Livestock. She's the host of our show, The American Rancher, and also the owner of Billy Bob's Texas. Pam, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks for reaching out to me here at the ranch. You can hear my dogs in the background. So um, this is how we live during these times. It is, you know, times, they are so different right now, but Billy Bob's just recently hosted the You're Still Farming and We're Still Seeing concert benefiting the Texas FFA. Let's talk a little bit about that and how that benefited Texas FFA. Well, first of all, I'm proud to say that it was so what we've been told the largest fundraiser ever for the texas ffa and so far it's raised twenty five thousand um, dollars and we expect that to continue to grow because now that concert is archived on facebook and people can continue to watch it um, and i think it's surprising for people that were at home watching it uh, over seven hundred thousand people were reached uh, nationally and internationally by 3,400 shares of that on our Facebook page. So a lot of people were introduced to not only Texas FFA, but to the FFA in general. Um, but a few about the, on April 1st, when Billy Bob celebrated its 39th birthday and we couldn't celebrate at the club, we had a little concert that was just Fort Worth music artists. But then the folks from Cavenders, who've got a great relationship with the FFA said, you know, we can do this with uh, with the relationship with singers that we've got and make this even bigger and benefit FFA. And people are surprised that artists like Cody Johnson and Co Wetzel and Aaron Watson really got a lot of their start in singing through the FFA Talent Contest program. So it was really a fun uh, uh, event and two hours of great music. Um, people, like I said, love the idea of hearing these artists, just like me, sitting here in their living room. And I think they like that inside look at some of those people. Some are, were on their tour buses, some were in their studios, some were in their living rooms, but it was all you know, just into their cell phone or into their computer. And it was a real stripped down version. And I think it took people back to why they entered the music business is because they really love to sing and entertain. It truly was a once in a time, once in a lifetime concert. And I love to be able to watch it. So many artists. And like you said, uh, so stripped down and so raw. It was great to watch. I enjoyed it. Uh, you know, music really does have the power to bring us together. And I think that we've been seeing this, just like you said, artists have been going live on Facebook and like what Billy Bops is doing, you know. We may be uh, alone, but we are definitely uh, not separated from everybody. We have such a great tool at our fingertips here with music. Well, they say, you know, we're all in this together. And I thought it was such a great thing to say to honor those farmers and that next generation. We really involved all the FFA kids, as you saw if you watched the show. Um, they got to introduce the next artist and their song. And a lot of the artists sang not only the songs that, that, that they became, that, they made famous, but they sang songs of people that influenced them. And a few of them kind of shared some of their thoughts on this whole uh, pandemic and, and everything that we've got to do to make our country safe and to keep farmers, um, because people in the big cities where, where the coronavirus is really so rampant, they think that all of their food just comes from the grocery store. And to shine a light on the great farmers and ranchers that we do every day here at Superior Livestock, um, I think it made an impact on, on the world. Pam, what can we expect coming from Billy Bob's? Any more online concerts? Well, I think that this will kind of become a tradition. We're also gonna do an online cooking thing with our chef, getting together a lot of the chefs from the area. Um, our governor has said that, uh, that the state is beginning to open slowly, although bars won't get to open uh, until at least May 18th. But Billy Bob's is also a restaurant and a retail shop. So there will be some elements of Billy Bob's that will be able to open. And our capacity is so great. Even with the restrictions for limited capacity, that still means a lot of people inside Billy Bob's. But we intend to, to follow the guidelines and make it safe. Um, and and I think it's a new reality for all of us in, in the entire world of being aware of things that 
that might be bad influences on us, like somebody else's germs. But yes, we'll do more online concerts and more smaller concerts. People will be up close and personal, but not too close. Well, Pam, we're excited for all that Billy Bob's has to offer, and we appreciate what Billy Bob's Texas uh, did for the Texas FFA and for farmers and ranchers in general. Pam, thank you so much for being on. We appreciate it. Thank you.